so hi everyone welcome back again in today's video we are going to learn about how to use list collector values in for each loop in a flow by using a simple use case which you can use in your complex use case later on okay so first let's understand what is our use case for today's video so our use case is create one catalog item through which end user can select any group and in the next field which is a list collector field they can add group members name it can be one or more than one users okay and uh, using the flow we will do add those member to the selected group i hope you guys understand the requirement let's put the name as add member to the group okay not mandatory so leave it and member to the selected group okay. here we can mention our using this catalog you can add members to you can add selected members to the selected now this is our use case we have created one catalog let's just add two variables okay one variables will be your group name and another will be the list collector field in which you can add the members okay so it will be a type of reference Okay, order 100, okay, mandatory years and group name. The table name is CC user underscore group. Okay.
in the user reference qualifier, you can add simple uh, filter here. That is group is active. Active is true. And sometime our client wants specific type of type of group like uh, what's called type type contains reporting or some kind of things so you can mention here reporting or anything as of now i'm not putting it okay this active is true then save this variable and so one uh, variable has been created now uh, for the next variable uh, that is the kind of list collector okay and order will be 200 and it three years list table is this user I think there is some issue with my network or anything. It's just loading. It's loading too slow. Okay. And in the reference qualifier, active is equal to true. You can mention or if you do as I am doing, insert an update, insert and stay. So it will be automatically fished from the first. Insert and stay. So our two variables has been created now. Now let's go to the catalog item catalog item yeah and just okay just check how it's look okay so here the group name will be there and here all the active members are available okay now it's time to select the create the workflow oh, sorry flow so let's just create one flow
So we came here and let's create one group member, uh, sorry, flow. So first of all, we need to trigger. So trigger it by catalog item, right? Service catalog. Then get catalog variable first. So now we need to add the record. And then here we need to add the catalog name. Our catalog name was add Number to the group. Okay. We have only two field. So oh. the same name. We have not changed the name. Okay. So let's just change the name. We have changed the name. Now variable okay. so we have added these two field to our flow now next thing is To look up this record okay so first thing is to look up the list value okay so we will take look up records see we have two things here one is look up record and the another is look up records okay so whenever we are using for the multiple values like a list collector so we have to use lookup records here okay that's why as i have selected lookup records now the table will be sys user table sys user table okay and here condition we will put new sorry sys id sys id is one of one of and then here we will select the value get catalog variable and then the variable name was group member okay so we have added now here all the society of those group members will be added here lookup records okay then we will take the action that is flow logic and it is for each for each group member so instead of taking the variable we will take this the second action name here that is lookup records okay and then user record okay now for this it will take and then now action we will do first uh, 
we can take any of either for group or either for the user okay so let's do for the user and we'll look up record now for each means one so we will take lookup record okay and then table name will be sys user okay and then condition is user id is equal to the look for each user record and under the user record we will take the user id okay got it for each user record and then user id i hope you guys are understanding these things then we will do another lookup for the selected group so let's to the lookup record and this will be for user a group table so let's do select the table name that is sys user underscore group okay that is group table and condition will be name equal to get catalog variable and then group name and then name okay so we have selected that variable name here okay so we have now two lookup things one is from user record a user table and another is from the group table now we are going to create the group member so the table for the group member is sys underscore okay we will see just select the action as a create record create record table name will be sys user underscore gr member that is group member okay now field value there is two important fields is one is user and another is group so for user we will add user as in the lookup record for we have selected that is user record okay and another field is group So group record we have added in the lookup record five okay so the group record we have added now this will learn uh, this will uh, this loop will go on until and unless all the list record has been completed created okay and how we will get update whether it's creating or not so we will create one more action that is update our ritm so select update record and the record will be the same requested item table name is scrq item correct and then we will add some work notes here and work notes can be scripted or you can add simply uh, selected okay let's just do the scripting thing here okay create well, we are adding user so where user is equal to fd underscore data
ft underscore data and then we are trying to add the lookup record okay so So let's just simply add, not add the script here. You can add your script like FD data and then you can add the lookup record data and whatever the username has been updated. I am just keeping it uh, simple. And this idea user has been added to your selected group. Okay. Okay. And this loop will be continue. Once this loop has been completed, so it will come here. So we can then close the RITM or we can create the task. We are now just keeping it as simple as possible. So let's just update the RITM to get close complete. So it is going to close complete okay it's done let me save this form and activate it it is a simple use case while you can use these things to your complex like the main motto of this uh, use case is to how to use the list collector in for each loop if we will try to simply fetch in the for each loop, no, we cannot a we cannot able to directly fetch the user list value because contain comma and we need to write some script which uh, convert it into array. So without scripting, we can use the lookup records. Okay, and it is working fine. So let's just copy the flow name and now add in the flow save the catalog and let's just see now try it okay so first let's see the example of any group So this is any group table. Open any group, okay. So it have one group member that is able tutor. We will try to add analytic setting manager group. This is the group name. So we will try to add few more user to this group. So let's just open the catalog and add here the group name analytic setting manager 
and Abel Tater is already presented. So let's just add Abraham Lincoln and okay, let's just add these three. Okay. And submit this record. Take the RITM. User has been added. User has been added. User. Okay, so three times the user has been added. Now let's just open the group table and check whether the group member has been added to this group or not. Let's just refresh this group page. Okay, so see, Adam, Harrow, Abel, Tutor was already there. These four members we have added. Uh, these three more members have we have added and it has been added by using the list collector. So I hope you guys got it, how to use uh, list collector in for each loop. And uh, we will meet in new video with new requirements. Thank you guys. I hope you guys like my video. Thank you so much for watching. We will meet soon with a new requirement. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you.